To the untrained eye, they're scribbles on a piece of paper, but this is actually the work of the last great surrealist artist, or more accurately, his chimpanzee Congo. Congo has produced many paintings and drawings. It was a discovery that defined his career when one day in 1956, Desmond Morris realized the ape could create abstract images. Well, I put a square on one side and he'd move his pattern the other way and so on. So I knew that he was controlling what he was doing visually. It wasn't just splish splash. Congo was remarkably successful because I didn't want the painting to be sold. And I said, oh, all right. And then I had second thoughts and I rang up the next day and said, I've changed my mind, it was wrong. This is a serious experiment. So it's too late, they've all been sold. And I'm the only artist in history who's ever been outsold by his pet. In fact, they proved so popular that of his 400 creations, there were only a handful left in the collection. These paintings were last on display here in the UK back in 1958. They're now thought to be worth around £4,000 each, and they're just some of the artworks on display here in the gallery. Over 100 others paint a picture of the movement, beginning with Sir Roland Penrose, a surrealist pioneer and close friend of Pablo Picasso. Desmond was a close friend of my parents, and he is the kind of... The, the still the, the, the great figure of British surrealism who is around today to tell us about it. This has to be one of the most important collections in Britain of British surrealism. Now at 84, Desmond's the only exhibitor still alive to witness this vast collection of British works. I decided I wanted to do one big painting before I died, and this is it. Uh, and fortunately, I didn't die, and I'm still here, and I'm still painting. Oh, it's been wonderful. Very, I, the chimpanzees and extras is a different thing. I knew nothing about that. And I love the people going round. I find it really interesting, actually. I come from a biological background, so especially Des Morris's stuff I find very interesting, yeah. He's also been a well-known face on our televisions for decades. So he may have once been outsold by his pet, but he certainly won't be upstaged by him. Helen Flint for Meridian Tonight.